Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. Have a thrift haul for you today. I put it all together in one day. Hope you enjoy. glass Westmoreland bowl. It's an 11 inch bowl. I would imagine it would be perfect for fruit at uh, the Goodwill. I paid $3.99 for it. I sell for about $22 and I will be listing this. It has a retriculated edge or an open lace edge and retriculated if you don't know um, in porcelain terms simply means a web shape or network of openings. It's hard to tell that this is a Westmoreland piece here but it is the Westmoreland uh, logo, which is a W and an M together, is in here, but the back is so shiny, I'm not sure it's going to come up. Picked up these two little cuties at the Salvation Army. All seasonal Christmas was 90% off. So these were the two little pieces I found. I probably paid a whopping 10 cents for both of them. This angel here is marked Hallmark on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it right there. And this little Santa right here, who does not want to stand up on its own, is unmarked. I'll put them away uh, for next Christmas. The day I picked these up at the Salvation Army, it was 25% off day. So I got all these three sets for $9. The uh, pattern's called Woodfield and they're made by Steubenville Pottery, 1941. This is in the salmon pink color. They came in about 10 different colors. These are called tea and toast sets and I just love the name. You can see the pretty leaf pattern here. And all the other colors kind of coordinate with autumn colors, except for the white. And they say that the white pattern is the hardest, or the white color is the hardest to find. So if you find those, definitely pick them up. As I think I said, 1941, these were produced, and I'm going to ask $30 for the three sets. They are in mint condition. I had seen this piece at the Salvation Army and I waited for yellow to be half price. So I picked it up for a dollar and I was kind of intrigued by the maid of honor right there. So I picked it up, I took it home. I looked a little closer and you can see there's a J in there and a bunch of numbers. So this was made by Jeanette and um, interesting, I never heard of the maid of honor line, but it was made exclusively, this it's glass bake, but made exclusively for Sears and they started with the McKee company. This has a J on it, so it's Jeanette. So it has to be at least 1961. They made lots of ovenware and uh, bowl products, milk glass, whatnot, even, um, even mixing bowl sets and refrigerator dishes. But as I said, exclusively for Sears. Paid a dollar for it, I'm gonna ask about 10. I paid $3.99 for this. I believe it's a cake plate at the Goodwill. It is not marked. It's milk glass, as you can tell. It's a really lovely plate. It needs a little cleaning up here. It is an 11 and a half inch plate. I believe my best guess is that it is made by the Colonial Company and uh, the pattern is COL23. That's just my best guess. That dates it to about 1960s. It could be a Pittman riser piece also. They picked up, Colony Indiana picked up the Pittman Dreiser Company in uh, the late 60s and they were a giftware, decorative glassware company. And I'm not sure what I'm going to ask for. It's somewhere probably around the $20 range. I was really surprised to see this pattern at um, the Salvation Army. It's not marked over here and it was half price being yellow, half price day. But I had found a lot of this pattern uh, probably a couple years back so I knew what it was. It's Homer Laughlin in the Sturbridge, or sometimes referred to as the old Sturbridge pattern. It's a gravy boat, as you can see. It's in the Brittany pattern, and the Brittany pattern was produced in the late 30s into the 1950s. It was known as a conservative shape, and it was designed by Don Sheckengos, I believe it is. And funny thing is, when I went to double check on all my information, I went to replacements.com, and they had this listed in the Cavalier shape, but uh, on further research, I noticed it was certainly not the Cavalier shape. And I could tell by the handle right here, definitely the Brittany shape. I'm gonna ask about $15 for it. Half 
price again at the Salvation Army, so I paid about $1.50 for it. It's in wonderful condition. It was made by Vernon Kills out of Vernon, California. You can see it has no chips, no cracks, not even any crazing on it. Vernon Kills dates from 1931 to 1958. This is part of their Ultra line. And I know that the Ultra line, they introduced this color, excuse me, pink in 1937. So I'm gonna date it right around there. I know they stopped producing it in 1946. And you can see it has this really great concentric ring line, which is very Art Deco. I'm gonna ask about $20 for it. these off at Salvation Army, yellow being half price. They're not marked here, they just have this really nice bubble effect on the bottom. But I knew right away what they were by the handle. The handles are kind of shaped like log cabins and that was to pay homage, I would, homage, excuse me, so to speak, for our na nation's beginnings. Paid $1.99 for the set. They're national by Jeanette Glass. They date from the late 1940s to the mid 1950s. They came in a whole bunch of different colors. And the gold you see here was a spray on. It's all sprayed on. It's not in bad shape. There are a little loss of gold here and there, but no chips or cracks. I'm gonna ask about $12 for the set. This sugar ball, by the way, is an open sugar ball. I don't believe it ever came with a lid. by the Promise Thrift Store and I found this really great Falls Graph recipe box. It was made in England, right here it says that, in the village pattern and right here it says $2.99 for the set. I couldn't find another piece and the person who worked there couldn't find another piece either. Kind of curious to know what the other piece might have been. Anyway, the pattern is called Village. It's 1976 and this um, design here is an early American style design that they made or reproduced for the bicentennial. They're kind of hard to find. People who collect this village pattern, um, I'm sure would want this recipe box. I'll show you the inside. There are no cards in it, but, ha! Uh -huh. I forgot all about this little surprise in there. But it's in really nice shape, and I'm gonna ask $14 for it. Oh, I'm so glad I opened up that recipe box or I would have forgot all about this gorgeous Joseph's Original figurine that I purchased at the same store for $1.99. It's gonna go into my collection. She is in wonderful, beautiful condition. You can see right there on that side. This is what she looks like from the back. Really pretty purple color. Joseph's Original probably dates to the 1950s, maybe early 1960s. They would probably sell my guess. I didn't do any research on it because I am keeping it probably the $15 to $20 range. Pick this up at Goodwill for $4.99. It's not exactly vintage, but it's just a really great piece. Martha Stewart in the everyday line. It's a glass storage container with a beautiful green colored top on here. You can see it, it's also a mixing bowl or a measuring bowl, I mean. Two quarts over there. And I believe this side says eight cups. It's in wonderful condition. It's a great piece. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna keep it. Move it back around here. Um, but if I do decide to sell it, they go for about $30. Well, Goodwill was my last stop of the day and it was hot and I was kind of tired. I had a $5 credit um, because that's what my points had added up to. You get 200 points, you get a $5 credit. I saw this and I just immediately grabbed it. I was uh, thinking that it was a pink mixing bowl, which of course it's not. It's a flamingo, <clears throat> excuse me, flamingo double tab um, casserole and it's not in the best condition as you can see. I probably wouldn't have picked it up at all. Um, except for my stupidity and thinking it was something that it wasn't. But it is Pink Flamingo, Pyrex dates to 1951. That's when they produce the Pink Flamingo and the Lime Green. And I'm gonna either just keep it and use it as an everyday casserole bowl or probably sell it for about $6 if anyone's interested. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the haul. And thank you very much for bearing with me through my cold. I 
can barely talk. I thought I'd show off my pretty table once again. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Everyone have a great weekend. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave a comment. See you again soon. Bye. Peace. And this little Santa here who doesn't like to stand up on his own. So I don't know where I'm going to put him, but he is adorable. Um, is not labeled. Huh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.